This is my TS Ready Model 1. And did you know that the TS Ready Model 1 was able to play music? Here's a very quick demonstration. It's actually using the cassette interface to actually generate the actual music, which is actually very, very cool. So after the TS Ready was released, it didn't take long for some very clever coders to actually uh, write some sound routines that use the cassette interface as the audio output. Isn't that cool? Let's take a look at some of the games, or a game that actually used uh, these routines uh, to add sound. Okay, and this is a tertiary game, Cosmic Fighter, which uses these audio routines via the cassette interface, which is absolutely brilliant. You can consider that this machine didn't have a sound card, but was able to create music and some reasonable audio effects when gaming. Okay, I'm just going to try one more game, just to show you what you can do, and then we'll wrap this up. And of course, no demo would be complete on the TSR-80 Model 1 without a dancing demon. Okay, and this also makes use of the cassette interface for generating the actual music, which is incredibly cool. Okay, we'll just load it up and now we'll run it. This is a little basic program. Okay, and let's just run the demo. We'll take all the defaults. And I'm also capturing the video using a PCI uh, WinFast uh, TV cut. And I'm just using the composite video in. Look at him dance. And isn't this just amazing what the TS Ready could do using its cassette interface as the sound output. a great way to enhance your basic programs 
or if you want to get down and dirty writing code in assembler if you really want to optimize your games and look at that isn't that bloody marvelous okay we'll catch you next time